Today we're going to start doing a little bit about preparation in the kitchen. So before we get going on any recipes and have a go at any of the challenges that I set over the next few weeks, we are going to learn today how to be ready to cook. So we're looking at our hygiene, making sure that we are ready and making sure that the area that we're working in is also ready. When we are in school, we have a dedicated area to be able to do this preparation before we go into the kitchen where we're going to prepare food to avoid that contamination. What we're trying to do with any sort of hygiene is prevent the transfer of bacteria from one place to another to ensure the food that we are cooking is safe. We don't want to be getting food poisoning, so we don't want to be transferring bacteria to our foods that can create that risk. So when we are in a kitchen area or we're going to be preparing food, there are certain things that we need to do. So I'm going to run through them with you today so that when you're following any recipes in the future, if you've already done this part, you know that you are safe and hygienic and ready to cook and you should hopefully make some lovely food that you and your families can enjoy. So anyone with long hair needs to tie your hair back. One, we don't want the food to be going into our dishes, but also it just prevents you from messing with your hair when you are cooking. So if your hair's down and you're constantly touching it, you're touching your face, you're transferring that bacteria onto your food potentially. Also, one thing that we do is we need to wear an apron. We also need to be removing any sort of outerwear. So at school, we will be removing our blazers. When you're at home, you just don't want big bulky things where your sleeves can be caught um, in any of your food. You can end up with your sleeves getting wet or you can also have bacteria on your sleeves that would transfer onto your food. So we're going to remove outerwear. Obviously, I've got a big bulky cardigan on and we're going to be popping on an apron. Obviously in school, we'd have those all provided for you at home. If you haven't got an apron, just try to make sure that you've just not got bulky um, clothes with long sleeves on, just keep your sleeves out of the way. Once we've got this ready, you just need to check any jewellery. Again, jewellery can have lots and lots of little dark areas that can have bacteria on them that can contaminate. So remove any jewellery, rings, Watches tend to be the one thing you, you need because of timers, but when you're washing up, just remove those as well. And if it's a watch with quite a, a delicate strap on it, that again could harbor quite a lot of bacteria, so do remove that. So I'm now I'm ready, ready to my jewellery, got my apron on, my hair tied back, I'm ready to wash my hands. Obviously, big focus at the moment on washing hands, but in a food area, we are always very keen to be making sure that people are washing their hands properly. So we always make sure that we are looking at washing between fingers, around the thumbs, wrists are a really big area that gets missed, backs of the hands as well, and rubbing into the palms of the hands. We always use an antibacterial soap and hot water, and as you're aware at the moment, it's for around about 20 seconds at least that you want to be washing your hands. So, washing hands, squeeze of soap, we want to be rubbing that soap all the way around the backs of our hands, in between the fingers, around the thumbs, and then like I said before, those wrists, making sure those wrists are nice and clean. And then once we've done all that rubbing in, that can take 10, 15 seconds. We want to start adding the hot water to it and rinsing all of that soap off with the bacteria that's on our hands too. So really making sure that every area has been rinsed where we've rubbed that soap. And then, ready to cook. Now whilst I'm over here, and you can't see my face, but we want to fill our bowl with hot soapy water. So I'm using fairy liquid, but obviously you can see it's not in the bottle. That's because my children, as well as many of you at home, like to squeeze half a bottle into here at once, wasting a lot of washing up liquid. So we squeeze it in at the beginning, and then the motion of the water will create those bubbles, which is why you only need a couple of squeezes. We do this at the beginning of every practical so that we can wash as we go, so that we are constantly keeping our areas neat and tidy and lovely and organised. clean washing up bowl is filled with hot soapy water ready for washing up. All I want to do now is make sure that my area is clean. So we use an antibacterial spray, any sort of kitchen spray that you can find. It's perfect, just make sure it's one that's got antibacterial properties in it. Obviously we use a dishcloth when we're in school, just using kitchen roll at home and we're just spraying the work surface and then cleaning it. See, work surface may look clean, but it's just about being sure that there's no bacteria on there. If you have animals in the home, they could have jumped on the work surface, you won't be able to see. Something may have been spilled and dried on that work surface, 
or it may just not have been cleaned in the last day or so. So we give that a really good clean and then we are ready to cook. So before I cook, um, each time I make sure that I am ready and I am organised. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at the first uh, recipe that I'm going to be doing with you as I show you how I get myself prepared. So I have a tray with ingredients. As you can see here, lots and lots of fruit. The main focus of our first practical is going to be about knife skills. So we're going to be looking at two different grips that I teach you to use in year seven, and that will see you all the way through to year 11. So we are having a variety of different fruits and vegetables for the fruit salad, uh, fruits for the fruit salad, which I will show you. And we also then get our equipment ready. So everything is to hand. So these are all of the equipment and ingredients that you will be needing for the first recipe, which is fruit salad. So I look forward to seeing you when we do that first recipe and get practicing being hygienic in the kitchen. 